Hello guys, today let's do some revision for the topic of limit. Before we try the questions, let's do a little bit revision. Now, when finding the value of limit fx, when x approaches to n, first we try to substitute x with n. If we get the answer is 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, then this is called undetermined value of limit. In this case, the following methods uh, you can be used to find the value of limit. First method, we can use L'Hopital's rule or we can use the second method which is factorization. Or method number three, we can use uh, rationalization, or sometimes we can use multiply by conjugate or some other methods. So, normally, the common mistakes for the students are they always assume that 0 over 0 it is equal to 0. So, this one is not correct. And also, some of the students will say that infinity over infinity it is equal to 1. It is also not correct. And another one is infinity over infinity is equal to infinity. This also not correct. So, please do not make this kind of mistake. Let's try this question. So we go to question A first. In question A, you are asked to find the value of the limit of the function when x approaches 2. So first, we substitute x with 2 into the function. So when we substitute x with 2 into the function, we find that the answer is 0 over 0. So means this is undetermined value of limit. So in this case, we need to go to another method to find the answer for this limit. So first, let's try the first method. It is L'Hopital's rule. So when we use L'Hopital's rule to find the limit, first thing is we need to write down the formula of the L'Hopital's rule, which is limit fx over gx equals to limit f prime over g prime. So this is the formula for the L'Hopital's rule. So now we compare the formula with the function. We find that fx can be assigned with 6x minus 2. Then we differentiate becomes 6. gx can be assigned with x power 3 minus 8. Then we differentiate gx becomes 3x power 2. Now, we can use this to find the value of limit by using L'Hopital's rule. So now, to find the limit by using L'Hopital's rule, so when we see fx, you can substitute with f prime, which is 6, and gx can be substituted with g prime, which is 3x over 3x power 2. Now, after that, we can we just substitute the x with 2 for the second time. Then, now we will get the answer that is 1 over 2. 
Now this question A, we can use another method to find the value of the limit, which is we can use factorization method to solve it. So first we need to factorize the x power 3 minus h. We know that when x is equal to 2, x power 3 minus 8 is equal to 0. So from here, we can say that x minus 2 is the factor of this x power 3 minus 8. Now we can continue the factorization by using long division method x power 3 we need to put in x power 2 and also x minus 8 with the divisor x minus 2 now we can say that x power 2 times x it is x power 3 x power 2 times negative 2 it is negative 2 x power 2 and when we minus it is 2x power 2 then we pull down the x and we continue the division so this one is 2x times x it is 2x power 2 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x so when we minus it is 4x then we pull down the negative 8 and we continue so this one is 4 times x it is 4x 4 times negative 2 it is negative 8 now we have finished the long division so from the long division we can take the answer that x power 3 minus 8 it is equal to the divisor x minus 2 times the quotient x power 2 plus 2x plus 4 so up to here we have finished the factorization for x power 3 minus 8 so now we can continue to do the limit to find the value of limit 6 times x minus 2 divided by x power 3 minus 8 so since we have got the factorization of x power 3 minus 8 so we can substitute it with x minus 2 times x power 2 plus 2x plus 4 so here we can see that x minus 2 can be cancelled off so after cancel off x minus 2 it becomes 6 over x power 2 plus 2x plus 4 so now we substitute the x with 2 so this one is 2 power 2 plus 2x plus 4 so after simplify so the answer is 1 over 2 now we go to question b in question b you are asked to find the value of limit of the function when x approaches h so same thing substitute x with h when we substitute x with h we find that the answer is 0 over 0 so means this is undetermined value of limit so means we need to use another method to find the limit since this question involving square root so the easy method to solve this question is by using the method which is conjugate we multiply the function with the conjugate so the conjugate for this one is 
square root of 6 plus square root of x minus 2. So we, min we multiply with the conjugate. Then after that, we need to simplify. For the numerator, we do not have to expand and just put it under the factor form. For denominator, we need to expand square root of 6 times square root of 6, it is 6. Square root of x minus 2, square root of x minus 2, then the square root will disappear. Then after that, we simplify the denominator. After we simplify the denominator, it is negative x plus 8. Now we can see that here we can change the denominator same as x minus 8 so that we can minus the factor. So to do this we just factorize the negative so it becomes negative x minus 8. So here it is exactly the same. Now we can cancel off x minus 8. So after cancel off x minus 8, so it becomes negative square root of 6 plus square root of x minus 2. So now we can substitute x with 8 for the second time. So we when we substitute x with h so we find that it is negative square root of 6 plus square root of 6 so the final answer is negative 2 square root of 6 Now for question B, we can use another method to find the value of limit which is by using L'Hopital's rule. So same thing if we using L'Hopital's rule, first we need to write down the formula of the L'Hopital's rule which is limit fx over gx it is equal to limit f prime over g prime so now we compare the formula with the function we find that fx is equal to x minus 8 then we differentiate fx we'll get 1 then gx is square root of 6 minus square root of x minus 2. So before we differentiate gx, we change the square root into power 1 over 2. Now we start doing differentiation. First, we pull down 1 over 2, then the power minus 1 becomes negative 1 over 2, then after that we simplify, becomes negative 1 over 2 over square root of x minus 2. So based on this one, so now we can start calculate the value of limit by using L'Hopital's rule. So based on the formula, now fx is x minus 8. Now we can use f prime. It is 1. Gx now we can use g prime it is negative 
1 over 2 square root of x minus 2. Now we need to simplify this part. Since 1 over means divide, so means we change it to 1 divided negative 1 over 2 square root of x minus 2. Then after that we know that this division we need to change it to multiply, multiplication, then we turn over this one becomes negative 2 square root of x minus 2. Then after that we simplify. After simplify, it is negative 2 square root of x minus 2. So, now we can substitute the x with 8 for the second time. So, when we simplify, then we will get the answer which is negative 2 square root of 6.